Okay, 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 okay. Hello there, cuties. Welcome back to Hooked on You Part Two. In the previous episode, this game did us dirty at the end <clears throat> by not letting us pick whatever ice cream we wanted. I was very offended. Not gonna lie. But anyways, let's see um, what else this game <clears throat> has in store for us. Um, okay. I really, really want to say chocolate, but we're gonna go with mint chip, I suppose. The best flavor is mint chip. So obedient. I think you're gonna do just fine. I don't like you. Anywho, now that they know so much about you, I'm sure the group wants to start getting to know them. Oh, I'm Trapper. I pretty much run things around here. I'm the smartest, richest, strongest person on this whole island. Okay. I don't like losers. If you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Raid. That's rude, Trapper. What the fuck? Okay. Hey, I'm Raid. I'm nothing like everyone else. I like nice people and low big dumb idiots. Hey, what's up? I'm Spirit. I don't like most things. I don't really hate most things either. It's not worth my time, but the things I do hate, I really hate. You know? I don't know, Spirit. I'm confused. <laughs> Based on my personal observation, life is nothing but suffering and the society is a carefully calculated lie to keep everyone subservient to those in power. It's better to choose just to take part. <coughs> to just not take part, sorry, T. Jeez. It's like she was downright murdered by society. She hates it so much. Oh no. Wait, I'm remembering. Spirit story now. And that's almost exactly what happened. Hey, I'm Huntress. Don't let these bummers get you down. There's lots of fun to be had on this island. Along with lots of love. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, there is, if you know what I mean. Grow up. Grow a body. I've explained this a thousand times. I'm dead, but I'm not a literal ghost. I just create a trail of fog. I'm not made of it. <laughs> Whatever, fog body. That's not nice. He's not nice. You love it. <laughs> I guess. Uh, only sometimes. Ew, really? That's disgusting. That's why she likes it. Don't speak for me. I also hate it. Oh no. I guess the trapper is literally just full of himself. Team. Stop speaking entirely, actually. For the first time ever, I agree with Wraith. Let's move on. Otherwise, still do this all day. Besides, if I know this crew, and I do, still want to show off soon enough. If we're done playing, let's do something else instead. Wow. For once, I actually agree with the meat meathead. I say we go to my yacht. It's the massive boat dock nearby. <sighs> God damn, it's such a show off. I'll give everyone a taste of true luxury and power. Wraith rolls his eyes. Yeah, I feel that, Wraith. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> Don't mind him, he just hates fun and happiness. No, I hate the endless, desperate, soul-crushing pursuit of wealth. The way it's flu flaunted needlessly and the cruelty it engenders? <laughs> what about hanging out by the pool? I find the water calming, simple, beautiful. 
Hey, what about our volleyball game? We can exercise and have some fun as a group. Are you all serious? There's a perfectly good lounge to chill out right here. I'm tired. And besides, I hate being in the sun. Where do you want to go? This, I suppose, you know, just dip in the water, just chillax, you know. I'll be down for a dip in the pool. Whoa, the pool? You you actually want to go to the pool? Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, sure, why not? Oh my, right, lost his um, composure there for a moment. <laughs> I've got good ideas. What's wrong with my ideas? The pool is great, everyone knows that. All over the world, if people agree on one thing, it's that pools are great. Look, we've got a whole ocean right here. And they still put in a pool because pools are just, you know, great. It's a real special treat. <laughs> Raid has an obsession with pools, as you can clearly see, guys. And you thought it was by me, he stayed quiet. Hold on! <gasps> Claudette and Dwight? Wow, they're so cute! Look at them! They're so adorable! Hold on! For just one moment! This is Dwight and Claudette, our activities coordinators. They're also the cooks, waiters, bartenders, janitors, and every other job. Oh, I kind of feel bad for them, they had to do a lot with the sounds of it. They're the only help remaining on the island. This place we call Murderous Island. Cute dramatic musical flourish. Whee! None of the others survived. <coughs> Sur ahem, survived the interview process, I mean. Sure, sure, that's sure that's what you mean. H hence why we shall here to four refer to them as survivors with a capital S. These two have worked here a long time, ve so very long, I don't actually know how long it's been. Sorry, anyways, I should probably let Dwight and Claudette do their muddy jobs. They sure look happy, but they're vibrating with nervous energy that is starting to give me the creeps. We will now escort the group to the venue of your choosing. However, in the future, we recommend waiting for us to present you with your options whenever possible and don't just run out to various activities unsupervised. We don't have much autonomy around here. The least you can do is allow us to do our job. The most you could do is help us get off this <laughs> Dwight! Yes, pardon me. Please follow us. They sound very, very nervous. <laughs> Hey, narrator. Yes? Something I can help you with. Those two, Claudette and Dwight, did they just start to mention something about wanting to escape? Is escape an option? Should I be trying to escape? Escape? Them? Oh, no, 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 no. I think you're mistaken. It seemed like Dwight was asking for help to get off this island, though. All right, that yes, that's true. He was, but he would he just meant that he wants to get to the other vacation island gateway, a couple miles south of here. It has much fancier accommodations than this island. It's one of those big corporate outfits, quite exclusive, where all the famous celebrities hang out. Very luxurious. Doesn't quite have the charm that this island has, though. Trust me, you won't want to go there. With all that money comes a lot of restrictions. This is where you belong. Now, now. Off you go. It's time for an activity. On this island, your decisions matter mostly. When I agree with them, well, not like that other island. So, what will it be? Pool? Let's, I still want to go to the pool. We just want to chill with our buddy right here a little bit, you know what I mean, guys? Tee-hee. Right moves ahead to the pool at the 
pace that could almost be considered jaunty if a creature so lanky they appear to mate entirely of elbows and ankles could jaunt. Um, what's going on with Wraith's fate? Is that a smile? Is that what a smile looks like when he does it? <laughs> Not just a smile, also sparkles all over his face, Kappa. <laughs> what can I say? Being enveloped by water is comforting, it's quiet, it's ominous, and you know. Wraith looks back over each shoulder to make sure no one besides you is within earshot. The fire can get me. Super normal stuff here, as usual. Oh great, it's called dead and white. What do these two want? Since everyone's at the pool, we figured we'll bring over some of our most popular pool accessories. Right, which one of these is particularly interesting to you? Foam noodle, inflatable non basketball. Uh, let's go with the noodle one, the foam noodle. Let's go with that. I'll take a, uh, I'll take a foam pool noodle, please. Ah, foam pool noodles. Who doesn't love combining wetness and blinding pain? All the fun of the whip with the bonus smell of it. industrial solvent. Oh my God, it's the game. Trapper grips a pool noodle in his hands, tightly wriggling. It would be a noodle neck with. Until a cute little squeak sounds. Okay. My favorite. Maybe you're not as dumb as you look. <laughs> you frolic with each other, trying to give each other wells. How fun for you. Wait a minute. The water near your leg just got warm. Um. Trapper. Do you just pee in the pool? It's important to establish dominance when you enter a new place. Um, did he actually just pee in the pool? Bro, come on! Why? Ew! Dude! <laughs> okay. We're gonna call him out on that. You're a disgusting monster. Flattery will get you nowhere. You know, it's unhealthy to hold it in. For a walking nightmare, you could almost believe that you're starting to, to relax a bit and forget about how much you can't remember. It's as if the sun's very rays have calming effect on you. Your body tranquilized by the soft light from over overhead, coupled with the cool breeze rolling in from the sea. And you're not alone. I feel recharged by the gentle warmth of the ocean's cares. If it wasn't a little too warm, that might have been my fault. My God. Also, this is a pool, not the ocean. Okay, everyone, just let him finish. Thanks, Ray. I know this problem doesn't seem like me, but would anyone want to play a game of Marco Polo? Yes, I love games. I'll go first. Someone blindfold me. Why did they all look so sussy right now? <laughs> sussy Bucky. Of course, Trapper has blindfold ready to go. It's as if he had it in his hands before you even spoke. Uh, and did he just wink? And did you just bite your lip? Um, no. I've, I'm scared now. Why is everyone just look? Why is everyone looking at me like? I just <laughs> English. Everyone just has that look of disgust right now. <sighs> Good thing you're getting 
in because it sure seemed like you were about to act up. Mini games consist of two parts. On top, a pointer which rotates in a clockwise direction. And on the bottom, a target you're going to be pointing at. Sometimes the target is immediately visible, sometimes it's hidden until the pointer arrives. Press the spacebar to stop the pointer while over the target to win. Fail to land on the target and you will lose. To achieve the perfect success, land on the, land on the start of the target area, not the end. Oh great, skill checks, oh my goodness. Okay, ready to play? Or would you like me to repeat that? I'm ready. I'm ready, honey. I'm gonna fail, but it's fine. Away we go. It's time to feel around. Go get him, tiger. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, perfect! Let's go! Ooh. Ooh. Almost missed that. Oh, we're good with those skill checks, aren't we? <gasps> I'm. <sighs> I completely jinxed myself there, not gonna lie. Oh my god, why is this so fat? So. Not bad. Yeah. That was pretty good, right? No, it wasn't. Don't lie. Just ignore him. You just been thrown into a very weird situation and uh, you held your own. I respect that. I think weird has a thing for us. <laughs> that was a good game. I say we celebrate. By throwing this waiter whose name I forgot into the pool. No! No, don't do that. Knock it off, Trapper. You're no fun. Thank you, Rai. Oh, don't forget this. Well, I mean, I might. Every time I think too deeply, I seem to forget every specific detail in my life beyond the basics of who I am as a person. No problem, Dwight. But that was still cool of you to stick up for me. I'm no expert, but I think... That means it's time for the next activity. Okay, what's 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 next? I wonder. Ooh. Seems like the next activity is mealtime. You were expecting what? Capture the flag? Do you know how complicated it is to run a game like that? Much more than sitting and talking. You arrive at the cookout area to find an assortment of picnic tables scattered around. What were you expecting? Some kind of ground hall with a huge banquet table? This ain't some prestigious fantasy epic like you'll find on cable. Why don't Claudette usher you to, to your seat? But there is very limited seating direct directly around you. And oh... Uh, Great, terrific. It seems that everyone wants to sit next to you. Oh. I don't know. Oh. Even better is that they don't want to sit next to certain other people either. To start, no one wants to sit next to Trapper. <laughs> Meanwhile, if he refuses to sit next to Wraith or Trickster... I'm sorry, did you say Trickster? Where? Hello? Trickster where? G give me now, please. <gasps> Hello? I'm sorry, what? <sighs> oh my god, okay, I'm... I was not expecting a trickster in this, not gonna lie. Oh my god. Oh yeah, trickster is here. Surprise? Yeah, well, 
They don't call him expected stir. I'm sorry, even I get nervous around crowds of killers and my whole shti gets a little flustered. Yeah, I was not expecting a trickster. He's... <sighs> He's cute. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> Hey there, you're looking good, right? Real good. I I actually don't remember who doesn't want to sit next to you. I, I I really don't. Oh my god! And we literally can let Huntress and Trapple sit together. No, seriously, their arms are too big. They can't fit at the table if they sit side by side. Look at this, we can't even fit everyone on the screen at the same time. You probably think it was an error, but it's not. It was completely intentional. Oh my goodness. Huh, let that be a lesson to you. Every error you think you see is a choice. Got that? No. Okay, Dwight and Claudette are directing traffic. You sit on the side, the rest of them will sit opposite to you. Huntress and Trapper can sit at the ends with their enormous sexy arms. Now that everyone is seated, we can begin dinner. Tonight's meal was prepared slowly and carefully with both love and hate for 12 hours over a spit. We hope you all enjoy. We really, really hope you do. Hey, you didn't actually tell us what you're serving. What are we ha eating? It's meat. Seasoned with specific number of special herbs and spices that we simply can't divulge. Trappers in love, my favorite. Meat is good. Meat is murder. <laughs> Which, you know, considering what you've been up to, who are you to get judgy now? I'm just, I'm just sharing facts and you need to murder something to eat, it's meat. So that's like technically true. Technically true is the best kind of true. Okay, enough yapping, let's eat. Hey, right, you think, you thinking what I'm thinking? It's gonna be a person. It's gonna be a person on that spit, right? Or several parts of overlapping people, perhaps. I hope not. I haven't seen many pigs wearing palm tree button down prints, you know? When you look closely at the spit, at the spit, you spot what definitely appears to be scraps of fabric sandwiched between some layers of meat. Oh my god. I. I think I might be sick. Is there anything else to eat? This took 12 hours. And we do literally everything on this island. Actually, there is one thing you're not doing today. You're not carving up this delicatable meal. Wow, he's right for a change. Because I am with my broad axe. It's the perfect tool for easily chopping anything in twain. First, who says twain? Sometimes I swear it's like we're all from completely different historical eras. Second, I'll handle this with my cleaver. Fast, powerful and clean. At least it's clean when the meat is cooked. No blood. Ah, oh, you too and you're ridiculous. Bicep swinging contest. Enough. Grow up. Oh my god. Spirit, please. You're so cute. <laughs> She's kind of showing a bit of boobage as well there. I'm like, oh my god, girl. Hello. Obviously, my gorgeous katana is the only option. Honestly. I do like the katana, though. I'm not gonna lie. The hell is this? Oh, I'll show you both my katana and send it to actual hell if you like. Please stop, please. 
I hate when we fight or talk or even when we look at each other in the eye. I can do it. I have the skull of Azeroth. Uh, okay, my dude. Great. Instead of slicing it up, you can club it to a second death. Oh my god. Hey, right. I know this isn't what you want to be. Hurry up and volunteer to carve up Felix. I mean, dinner. I'm sorry. Did you just say Felix? <laughs> did, did you? You did. You did don't dirty Felix, didn't you, game? Oh my god. Otherwise, this will go on for hours. No hyperball. They once argued over who had the most effective weapon for 72 straight hours. And it doesn't matter which one does it. When they are done, they will take even longer cleaning their weapon. All while explaining the value in maintaining your tools. Despite being a bunch of cold bloody killers, for some reason they're always terrified of the tennis. Hey, would hey, why don't you just let me carve up dinner? Splendid idea. Would hate for it to get cold. <laughs> he hated when it got cold. Here's a machete, freshly sharpened. Mini games consist of two parts on top. Okay. So, so you're just exp explaining. Okay, we're just explaining the mini game again to me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to play. We already played this once. We got this. I'm ready. We, we can do this easy. Away we go. Let's go. Slice. Oh, we're slicing meat this time. Ooh, okay, perfect. It's gonna get faster and I'm gonna miss probably. Let's go. Oh. Almost missed that one. Oop. Oh, yeah. It's perfect. Oof. Okay. Oh my god, spirit, please. <laughs> You're just so cute. Some help. That was pretty good. I like to see what you could do with less clumsy weapon. Yeah, I said it. Machetes are dumb. Dinner is finally served. For real. The sounds, especially coming from the mass killers while they eat, are nasty. Which involves lifting their mask and showing food up behind them. Ugh. Okay, okay. Spirit, meanwhile, doesn't even eat. She's the only one who seems to really be embracing being dead. They're all dead, right? This is obviously hell. I mean... Ooh. Ocean, come on. We're still trying to be mysterious here. You think mystery comes easy? Claudette and White aren't. The only ones who have been working their asses off to make this night perfect. Well, at least they're lifting their masks. This is only 99% of disgusting as it could be if they just tried to mash stuff through there. True. Spirit, why aren't you hungry? The two best things about being dead is not having to eat. That's only one thing. Think about it, right? Number two is no number two. One less thing to think about in the afterlife. Even if I wanted to eat, I have no idea what would actually follow. You may have noticed, but I'm mostly just a bunch of dismembered body parts floating in a spectral form. Do you see how deep the skirt on my Bonus? I don't think my digestive trust connects anymore. Oh my god. Between the food and the behavior of the group, this might be the worst meal in history. <laughs> but even worse is they're staring at you. You're not eating. They don't like that. Stop staring at me. I think they want an explanation why. What do you want to tell them? 
let's just say I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, it's not the food or the company. I'm just super self-conscious how I look when I eat. I was just pretending to be grossed out by dinner, so I'll have an excuse not to chew in front of everyone. Sorry if that made things awkward. I'm actually extremely hungry. Yeah, watching people eat is gross, but try to relax and not worry what everyone thinks. It's so important to always remember if people are watching you, judging you, definitely not ignoring you, right? Guys, is anyone listening to me? <laughs> right? Come on, man. <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> Typically, a group that includes one, if not more, cannibals staring at you with me juicy dripping from their chins would be quite scary. However, right now, you're barely able to keep your head up. Let's let alone get scared and run away. I'm a narrator, not a physician, so please don't take this as medical advice, but I'm pretty sure you need to eat to stay alive. Okay. I'm gonna pause part two here. I am... Holy shit, man. I was... Oh my god. Okay, so the game definitely caught, caught, caught me off guard when they showed... <laughs> Trickster, I was not expecting Trickster in this game. <laughs> oh, we like Trickster. Trickster is a cutie. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, I'll probably do part three next week, maybe Monday. We'll see. If I'm not too, I'm not overly too busy. I'll probably do it on Monday. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and. Uh, I'm gonna see you all next time. Ara ara.